Hello mga loves! Are you interested to know what are my best, sweetest, and cheapest? Yes, you heard it right. Cheapest fragrances that I own. If you are, please continue watching. Welcome back to my channel and again if you're watching and seeing me for the first time Hi, how are you? My name is Miami. My channel is called Miami Loves And if you happen to love perfume just as much as I do, please do consider subscribing And when you do, comment down below and introduce yourself Oh my G, mga loves! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I am so excited because I do miss filming I am so sorry I haven't been filming Because I, uh, I've been busy on a more personal level I won't talk about it, maybe on my blog I will talk about it it, but not on this video okay and today first of all just don't mind the hair today i am so excited because i mean i i will be filming i am filming right now i am filming my first ever collective perfume these are the sweet cheap women's perfume that i have on my collection i'm sure there's a lot of sweet cheap women's perfume in the market that I don't have and if you happen to have them please comment down below and let me know it screams like femininity but a sweet perfume don't you agree okay first on the list is tada it's pink sugar by aqualina everyone knows about this perfume okay this perfume has cotton candy caramel and vanilla okay oh my gee this perfume okay i'm gonna be honest because i'm always gonna be honest on this channel when i first got it because i blind bought this because everyone's talking about this perfume okay when i first got it i thought i had made a mistake because as you know i'm a dowser i've told you that before i'm a dowser i like to smell my perfume on me okay so i i think i might have over spray it and the first spray i smell strong smell of rubbing alcohol but luckily after a few minutes there it comes out it comes out two words cotton candy okay this perfume if you just if it's simple if you want to smell like cotton candy this is the perfume for you okay a lot of people are saying this is a young woman's perfume i do not care i'm turning 45 this year and i'm rocking this perfume okay when i do unbox my when i blind buy my perfume and i unbox it on this channel i would test them out you know for a day and i test this out when i was going for work i did work a short shift you know short shift for us is six hours and when I work, man, uh, where I work, I'm always sweating, okay? Even if it's winter time, I'm always running around, I'm always sweating, okay? I wore this perfume, and after my work shift, I went to the grocery, got a few things for dinner, and as soon as I lined up for the cashier to pay my for my stuff, the, the cashier lady says, what are you wearing? You smell like cake. And I'm like, looking around, did I buy cake? No, I did not buy cake. You know, I'm trying to be on a diet. It's not working. Okay. <laughs> this is the one. She said, what are you wearing? And you know, for a second, I was quite embarrassed. Because, you know, when someone asks you what you're wearing, you want to say like, um, Fab Delicious by Mason Christian Dior. No, I had to, <laughs> I had to be honest. I said, oh, it's a cheapie. It's Pink Sugar by Aquilina. Okay. This, this will put you on a like a fun fun mood this perfume makes you happy you smell sweet you smell like cotton candy if you want to smell I'm like happy. To tell you this is around 30 australian dollars okay and longevity is very good like i said i work six hours and people can still smell it on me projection is obviously good because she smelled me so projection is above average she arch maybe average and longevity is easy six to eight hours on my list okay this is a different types of sweetness this is a celebrity perfume and it's by jessica simpson fancy okay i know this is not this is not a new perfume like i said i've been I've been staying away, staying away from celebrity perfume, but I just blind bought this because a lot of YouTubers are talking about it, and boy, I am my, am I glad to get this perfume? Okay, I cannot talk again. Okay, if you like um, gourmand, 
this has the prominent note in this is caramel okay so you're gonna smell sweet okay it has caramel it has vanilla and it is it got almond on it so it's like quite gourmand but sexy and um it's got like some sexy note in it and i think if i'm not mistaken the pear in it okay it's sort of giving me the same vibe as when I wear my Black Opium by YSL, this has pear in it too. So, if you want to smell gourmand, if you want to smell sweet, caramel, and if you want to smell sexy, okay? Where well, this is fun, fun, this is sort of like sexy, sweet. Okay. It's around $30 as well for 100 mil, same as this, okay? And it has very good projection. And the lasting power, it's um, a little bit weaker than the pink sugar yeah i'd say this is five to six hours but projection is quite good and siach is average if you want a sexier perfume that is more appropriate for the night you know if you're going out uh, dancing with your girlfriends or if you're going to a hot sexy day what would be a sweet perfume for you this third one is the one for you i'm talking about a jam for walk for Fatal Intense, okay, this perfume, oh my goodness, okay, this is, in terms of sweetness, it only has vanilla in it, okay, but I tell you, the vanilla in this is very, very sexy, okay, it's vanilla on the edge, on first spray, it has sweet, spicy, uh, spicy uh, vibe to it but don't be put off with the spicy because overall it's vanilla the vanilla on this is prominent from the first spray to the mids to the dry down so it's vanilla all throughout but not it's your it, the, the thing I like about this perfume it's not just your typical sugar sugar full on sugar vanilla no this is vanilla with an edge maybe because of all the other notes that uh, that that goes with it it just makes it uh, a little bit edgier so it's sweet but with an edge okay so um this is uh, by the way this is by agent provocator it's uh, similar to victoria's secret it's a lingerie company so that's the downside about this perfume is the longevity you know um it's not you'll be lucky to, to to get to smell this perfume after five hours but only on me in four hours i'm like smelling smelling it but if you're going out for night you're not gonna stay that long anyway i mean just reapply if you need to stay longer if you know what i mean <laughs> but but if you are this bottle by the way this bottle costs will cost you around 40 to 50 dollars so it is the more expensive of this lot this next one on the list i'm not gonna talk too much about because i am gonna do a re comparison review expensive perfume i'm sure you can have a guess already i am talking about sofia bergara sofia this bottle 100 ml and you can see i made a dent on it cost me 30 australian dollars and i wasn't gonna even buy this i was looking for the other sofia bergara perfume okay this has uh, just like the agent provocator it only in terms of sweetness really sweetness no it only has vanilla but this has a uh, plump blackberry notes in it so it's more like a fruity sweet than like a sugar sweet okay but uh, this perfume my god if you are after a fresh juicier but elegant and sophisticated sweetness this is the perfume for you okay this is it, it's you know i'm gonna spray it again you know like i said I've, I've used this so many times already you know because i love it you know it's it's sort of being compared to i'm just gonna say it now and that's the 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 review that i'm gonna do it's co being compared to chanel coco mademoiselle mm -hmm. and uh lancome's la vie Evel. both of them i have on my collection but i'm just gonna compare it to coco mademoiselle because the la vie Evel i haven't even un uh, unboxed yet okay in terms of longevity it's very good six to eight hours and projection i would say the projection is not as good as the aquilina pink sugar but it's you know like average and the siach is average i mean if you are on the list and this is another celebrity perfume bye you guess it ariana grande
cloud okay this perfume i'm just gonna say it straight off the bat the only bad thing about this perfume is this cloud stand whatever thing that is okay i guess it's meant to resemble cloud but this cloud would have been enough for me okay <laughs> but anyway let's talk about the juice oh my g this perfume okay I know you know about this perfume. If you love perfume, you know the, this is being compare, compared to the more expensive uh, Mason Francis Kurt John's uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't own that one yet. I unboxed this already on my channel if you've been watching me from the beginning. I've unboxed this. I do test them out. Like when I unbox it, I will test them out and write notes. And I love it so much, I had to test it twice in a row okay two days in a row i tested it okay because <laughs> i i just love it so much okay this has whipped cream okay praline and coconut okay but overall it's giving me the same vibe of pink pink sugar by aquilina it smells like cotton candy to me but a lot more going on to it okay it's more it's more multi-layered than pink sugar okay uh, to me, um, the whipped cream and the praline and, and especially the coconut. The coconut I get in this is not like the coconut juice, but like more like a coconut cream, you know, like the coconut cream like you get in a can. It, it gives creaminess. It adds to the whipped cream and it gives it more creamy. And even like say from the first spray to the mid, it has lavender in it. I get the hint of lavender that's giving me like a musky uh, sort of powdery vibe to it okay so this is like really sweet but a lot more going to it if you know what i mean so if you want like a creamy sweet perfume that you can wear during the day and makes you feel fun 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 as well just like aquilina this is the perfume for you okay so yeah, and this bottle cost me around 30 dollars. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Okay, that the next perfume I'm gonna talk about is gonna just be an honorable mention because I don't consider this cheap. Yeah, uh, I am talking about sweet. <laughs> okay, sweet as the name goes. Okay, sweet by Lolita Lempica. I have here the old formulation, mga loves that. You know, this is hard to come by nowadays because they reformulated this and re, re, repackaged it. Okay, so I'm glad that I got the old formulation. Okay, so this is just honorable mention, like I said, because this is not at all sweet. This is will cost you around 60 to 80 Australian dollars, the new formulation. Okay, the old formulation, if you, you can only get an eBay, Amazon, it's gonna be more now <laughs> but the new formulation would cost you 60 to 80 australian dollars depending on the currency the exchange currency okay this this is this is so interesting to me okay this is sour cherry sugar and cacao okay but i do not get the chocolate vibe in it i mean it, i do smell a little bit bitter a hint of bitterness and that maybe from the cacao but I'm just gonna tell you. Okay? I'm not gonna take too long. Talk too long about this. This is giving me the vibe of raspberry twist lolly. Do you know those raspberry twist lolly? If you if you if you love those raspberry twist lolly, that's what it smells like to me. Okay. This if you like gourmand sweetness and you want to smell like raspberry or cherry, this is the one for you. Sweet. We are down to the best sweet cheap women's perfume i'm just gonna say it i am talking about tada of course juicy Couture viva la juicy gold edition okay this fragrance is popularized popularized by jeremy fragrance and i tell you this is my fourth bottle technically fifth bottle because the last time i bought this i bought two in two in one and this perfume is not exactly cheap nowadays probably because of jeremy fragrance this is will cost you around 80 australian dollars for this 100 ml but when the last time i got it that's why i buy i bought two is because it's 39.95 so they do go on sale so watch out for it this perfume I, i'm just gonna say it's probably 
niche designer celebrity cheap perfume this is probably one of the sexiest perfume you could ever have if not the sexiest okay this perfume okay my husband loved this on me this hence this is my fourth pit bottle already okay and one of my one of my one of my favorite perfume youtuber here in in youtube obviously her name is bougie fragrance hello miss bougie fragrance she said i was playing one of her video and she was talking about this and she said uh, her husband this is her husband's favorite perfume on her and I was like, as if she can hear me, I was yelling, same as mine. My husband loved that perfume too. Okay, this this perfume is sweet and sexy, okay? It has caramel and it has vanilla, just like the rest of them, but it has wild berries on it. And the wild berry, you can smell all throughout, but it's just sort of in the background. Caramel is the more prominent, but the wild berry give it give it another level you know it's not it's almost like a juicier you know hence the name juicy couture it's a juicier sweeter perfume and i tell you if you're after the sexiest perfume jeremy fragrance is right this is juicy couture Viva la juicy. If you enjoy my first ever collective perfume video and if you happen to love the video please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for watching and please keep safe i'll see you on my next video bye